Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with the morning announcements. Good morning, Joya. Good morning, Mr. Martinez. Good morning, Bodie. Good morning, Mr. Martinez and Joya. Good morning, Bodie. Uh, we love Thursdays, and I love seeing that piano behind you, buddy. Can't wait for that. Uh, guys, we have a brand new flag from Chloe in the second grade. I don't think we've used this flag before, have we, Joy? Do you re recognize this flag? I think we've used it. Before. Okay, you know, I wasn't sure either. So uh, if, if this is a, a repeat, well then, Chloe, today's your lucky day. I happen to love hearts on the flag and your stars. She did a great job. Uh, so if we did use it once before, well then uh, she's back for a second round. Joy, lead us in our flag stick. Place your right hand over your heart and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. A really a happy Thursday. <laughs> Today is October 29th, uh, 2020. Uh, weather is, I'm going to tell you what, to, today might have been my last day swimming in the pool because it was freezing. Uh, it is going to be about 82 degrees in Studio City today. Uh, no Dodger update. They, you know, they won the championship. No Laker update. They won the championship. Uh, the LAFC, our soccer team, did beat Houston last night 2-1. to one. They remain in fourth place. Uh, the Galaxy, unfortunately, lost to the Portland Timbers. Five to two. Uh, I don't think they're in the running for the playoffs, but we'll see. Uh, so we have a special guest today, guys, to talk to us about the two-day Halloween carnival. And it's the sister of Mrs. Belatich. Have you guys ever met Mrs. Mrs. Belatich's sister? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. All right. Well, let me bring her in. This is this is Louisa Belatich. Okay. Louisa Belatesh, good morning. Well, hello. It's great to see you guys. I just asked the boy, I just asked Bodie and Joy if they've ever met Mrs. Bel Mrs. Belatesh's sister, and they said they never have. Well, you know, I'm one of eight sisters. So Mrs. Belatesh has a big family, and I'm just one of the many sisters. Yeah. And where do you live, Louisa? Uh, well, right now I'm in Hawaii. I live in Hawaii. I love it. Aloha, everybody. Aloha from Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. I, I love Hawaii. I love the weather. I love cl all the, the climate. I love the environment. Everything is fantastic in Hawaii. Yeah. And you know, I noticed that you've got a similar hairstyle to another sister of one of our enrichment teachers. Coach uh, Mary. Yes, Coach Mary. Okay, Coach Mary and I are good pals, and we both go to the same hairstylist. We just are such good friends. Hi, Coach Mary. I hope I get to see you again soon. We love Coach Mary. We love you too, Louisa. Louisa, are you uh, here to talk to us about the Halloween carnival? Well, actually, yes. Mrs. Belatesh could not join you this morning, but she sent me some slime. Oh my gosh, I love slime, just like Mrs. Belatesh loves slime. And she taught me, actually, I made this one myself. She taught me how to make it. And she I, apparently she's going to have a class where she teaches you guys how to make slime too. Slime, one of my favorite things to play <laughs> with. What are the ingredients for slime? Like, how do you make that? Well, it's really so, so simple. You just get some glue, like regular glue. You put a little bit of water. And then you have this secret ingredient Ooh. called borax. And um, and you can get it at the grocery store. It's not hard to find, and it's a powder that used they used to put in like um, laundry detergent to help your your uh, washing machine work better. And it makes it makes a chemical reaction and makes slime. It's so awesome. Wow. Now she's also going to do something called. There's like so much fun, and it talks about density and all kinds of fun things. So. There's a lot of fun things she's going to do at the, at the Halloween Slime. carnival. Slime. <laughs> All right. Well, as since uh, Louisa Belatesh brought up the Halloween carnival, guys, why don't we remind everybody what's happening this year at the Halloween carnival. Remember, it's a two-day event. It's Friday, tomorrow, and Saturday. What else do we have there, uh, Joanne? You can get your tickets on our website. That's right. You're going to have the magic of Air Wilzig. That's tomorrow night. He was on America's Got Talent. Oh, 
I'm sorry. Mrs. Bellatash will be hosting two classes to make spooky lava lamps and two classes to make creepy slime. Um, Mr. Martinez will uh, host a special Halloween dance party on Saturday. On Saturday from four to five, nothing but spooky Halloween, awesome hip hop music. It's going to be fantastic. Miss Maestas is going to have some spooky treats. She's going to do some cooking classes, everything with a Halloween theme. And then what else? Uh, Mr. Matt will also be hosting an art Halloween classes. Oh, so we cannot wait for that. Remember, that all starts tomorrow and extends into Saturday. Louisa, thank you so much for giving us that update. You're welcome. Now listen, if you can stick around, I know you're all the way in Hawaii, but Bodhi, every Thursday, plays some songs for us to try to guess the artist or the name of the song. Can you stick around for that? Oh, I'd love to. Please let me stay. I'd love to, yes. All right. Bodhi, what do you got for us today? It's Thursday. Uh, yeah, so I have a real treat for you today. Um, I have two songs instead of one. So let's see what you can guess. All right. Okay. Here we go. Awesome. Great job there, Bodie. <laughs> I definitely know what the first one is. We okay, watched sure. that What movie. was the first one? Tell us what it was. The first one is the Adam family. Like it's <gasps> da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Okay, so now the, the second I don't watch scary movies because they really uh miss me up. So um but I think I do know the second one. Uh Louisa, did you know the song the second song he played? I recognize it, but I don't know the name. So you don't watch scary movies either, huh? <laughs> Scary movie person, no. Mm -mm. It's gonna be really weird if Joya knows it and we don't. Like Joya, do you Jaws know that? Theme? I don't know. Is it like the Jaws theme? No, no. Okay, so you, it was a movie. Know. I don't. I don't was, was it the theme? To, is it? Is it Hall Wait, wait. What's? Is it like a Halloween? Uh, I think it's like a classic Halloween movie. What's the name of that one, Bodie? What's the second one? No, it's. Uh, it's actually just called uh, Halloween. It's from the seventies. Oh, oh, from the 70s. Okay. Oh, cool. I, I, I just thought it was like the Jaws theme, even though I never watched Jaws. Okay. <laughs> a anything else you want to share with us about those songs there, Bodhi? Yeah, so uh, the first one is The Addams Family, and I think everyone knows about The Addams Family. Uh, it was made in the 60s, and it was, the uh, original show was a comedy about a family odd and supernatural members living in uh, today's world. And um, it's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, so um, on the next one, it's uh, Halloween. It's a horror film that started in the 1970s. Since there has been 11 sequels. Oh my gosh. And um, I haven't seen it, but looking at the soundtrack and um, it just looks very scary. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I lo people love scary movies. I'm not one of them, but people do love scary movies. It's, I don't like. Do you them. like scary movies, Bodie? No, no, no. I have never watched one. But Me neither. They have killer music. Well, thank you so much, Bodie. That was were awesome, great Halloween themes. Speaking of Halloween, we want to remind everybody: Luca is going to be here tomorrow. Actually, we're going to have the entire student council here tomorrow. But if you want Luca to share your Halloween costume, go to our cover of our website. Go to Luca's Laudable Laughs, put a picture of your uh, Halloween costume, and he'll be sharing those tomorrow. Now, guys, I've been doing magic this week, and I have uh, one final magic trick I want to share with you. Do you guys like magic? I love magic. Okay, so Louisa, for this trick, all you need is a regular toothpick, right? Not as common as, like, rope. Remember my rope that everybody's got, like, around their house? Uh, everybody seems to have rope. But if you can find a toothpick, you could do this trick. So here we go. So uh, let me see if I can uh, adjust the camera. What I'm gonna try to do is make this toothpick disappear. So keep your eyes on it. Keep your eyes on it. Let me pull back a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three. Where'd it go? What? It's gone. That's no tremendous. But wait a minute. 
Oh, there it is. It's right there in my side of my ear. So that was our third magic trick. It's called the toothpick. Anybody can do it at home. Are you guys ready to do the words of wisdom with me? Oh, yeah. All right, here we yeah. go. The ancient Greek teacher Socrates once said that getting an education is more than just learning to be smart. It's more than just learning how to read and write and do arithmetic. Socrates believed that. Education is learning to be both smart and good. What do you think about that? Do you think that going to school helps you learn how to be a good person? Today, while you're at school, notice any lessons you learn about being a good person. Maybe it's something your teacher tells you, or maybe it's something good you notice someone else doing, or maybe a friend teaches you a lesson in goodness. Then think about old Socrates, and remember that getting a good education is about learning to be both smart and good. With something to think about, this is Mr. Martinez. And Joya. And Bodhi. And Louisa Balatesh. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Louisa, thank you so much for joining us from Hawaii. We cannot wait to see what your sister does at the Halloween carnival for this, this year. Uh, Bodhi, awesome playing on the piano again. Thank you for those two things. Joya, have a great day. We're going to see the entire student council in costume tomorrow for a special Halloween version of the morning announcements. Have a great day, guys. Aloha, Louisa. Aloha.